It's getting cold out there, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you for tuning in to my YouTube channel. My name is Amar, and on this channel, we review a variety of sneakers. So if you are new along here, on this channel, most of the sneakers are of my favorite pairs, and those mostly being of Nike branding. So do consider liking and sharing, and please make sure to hit that notification bell to stay up to date with any of my videos. So in today's video, we'll be looking at an SB Dunk. I know by the time I get this video out, we may have passed sort of Halloween. This is that type of sneaker that gives off those vibes, but it is what it is. Right, so without going on any further, let's just start off this video by looking at the box and packaging. And to be honest guys, I'm kind of appreciating this box. I like this style of box. It does come in that sort of rectangular quick strike box. And if I just go ahead and read off the box label for you guys, and the box label reads Nike SB Dunk Low Pro, and it's a quick strike, and the colorway is black, white, multi-color. Now, this is a personal pair. I did actually try hitting up on a few of the platforms. To start off with, I started off with Nike. I was just getting all else, to be honest. And I did try a few flat spot. And last but not least, Route 1 came through for me. So that's the actual box label for you guys. Right, so if we just go ahead and peel back this lid. Now, I did actually remove the cakes and I've had a little sneak peek of the cakes. They did come in two forms of uh, tissue paper. One is of a kind of a special tissue paper and you days you box standard tissue paper. One. Yeah, as I said, it's got your standard tissue paper. I did remove the cakes just to have that quick sneak peek. But it is that sort of standard tissue paper. And I will give you a quick run of the extra tissue paper because I do believe it's a really nice detail. Right guys, so what I was able to find out is Neckface is kind of known for his sort of naive and humorous art. And if I'm thinking about it, I can kind of relate to that. His art, in my opinion, is kind of random and kind of cool at the same time. That said, even I don't know what I'm looking at sometimes when I was just checking him out on the internet. He is quite well known through Nike. He has collaborated with them on a number of occasions. He did do an SB Dunk sort of back in 2013 and he has done blazers and he's collaborated with Vans. With that said, all his colourful cartoon art, graphics and patches all form really well. And I can kind of understand why it sort of dropped around Halloween because it does give off those vibes. Right guys, so the moment that we've all been waiting for, here is... Your first look on this channel, the Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Neck Face. So there is a lot going off within the actual sneaker. Both silhouettes do actually vary in sort of design and patchwork. So I won't be going through every single patch itself, but I will point out certain aspects of the sneaker and the patches that I do prefer. Right, so let's just go ahead and we'll look at your left sneaker, which is this sneaker here. I will start off by saying it is a all black colorway. Uh, the upper material is a short haired suede material. You have your neck face patches throughout the sneaker. Right, if we just start off with the front end of the sneaker, we'll look at your toe guard and your mud guard. You have two patches. One is like a claw kind of thing with this sort of red evil demon. And just generally throughout the whole sneaker, he's just got these load of patches going all the way throughout. And these are a load of your patches on your outer side of the left silhouette. There's a lot of details going off there. You have that patch within the mid panel and looking at the inner side to your left silhouette you have them patches again like i said i won't be going through every single patch because they do all vary and they are very very crazy 
and to be honest i won't know how to actually describe each one i might struggle sort of describing each patch so there's all your patches along your inner and your outer side of the silhouette and your toe box you have two patches which seems to be sort of, of a claw and a red demon kind of got this pair late so that kind of gave me a bit of leeway there are some pictures on the internet where people have actually started removing the patches now you can actually do this if that's something you're up for with the right tools they don't look so bad at all and with the right tools i do believe you won't make a mess of them and they do actually look decent looking at some of the images i have seen on the internet now if we are looking at your laces there's nothing at your ordinary uh, they do come with those sort of thick sb style laces so there's nothing out of the ordinary and they have actually included another set of laces and they are also black which is quite strange you know they could have actually they could have multiplied it up you know and added and threw in a load of uh random laces like blue red white anything really they all would have gone in my opinion it, it all would have gone really well because there's a lot of color because the patches throughout the silhouette forms a lot of color in my opinion and if I just quickly look over the whole silhouette itself, I will point out my favourite patch would have to be this scary face on the back end of the inner heel. You have this, you basically have this scary face with this really cool sort of fluffy hair. It's a really nice detail. You have that beautiful mini swoosh, looks really nice. And looking again to the inner side of your silhouette, I am still looking at the left sneaker. You have that patch in the middle, which reads teamwork. And moving it round back to the outer side, you have that patch in the middle with somebody holding a dagger or a sword. You also have a green snake just sort of off your ankle collar. So there is a lot going off within the whole sneaker, it is really random and the actual midsole itself is a nice clean white rubber midsole just falls in really well with the rest of the sneaker. The outsole you have a nice clean black rubber outsole. I'm glad they didn't go for white because in my opinion I just think SB Dunks look really nice. The black outsole, you have this scary skeleton hanging over a gravestone and just looking at your tongue padded tongue and the material on the actual tongue actually is of canvas material but the actual look in my opinion looks more sort of denim it does give off those denim vibes but it doesn't have that sort of thickness and roughness as you would expect with denim material you also have that denim sort of canvasy material on your heel tab which might be a bit difficult to see because you have that patch covering it but that's a little small detail i thought i would mention right guys so let's just go ahead and look at the right sneaker and the right sneaker same again you have a load of patches going all throughout the sneaker it is a very very crazy design but i am super super gassed and i am feeling it and to be honest i've been longing for a halloween vibe sb dunk but if we're talking about Halloween vibe silhouettes, my favourite has to be the Mummy Dunks. And if we look at the inner side of your right silhouette, you have a load of patches going throughout the sneaker again. Looks really clean. And if I just spin it around again and show you the outer side, you have that bat with orange wings. If we look at your mud guard and your toe guard you have two patches on your mud guard and your toe box and if we're looking to the back of the sneaker you have a patch on the back of the sneaker you have two schools in chains really dark and creepy and same again with the right silhouette you do have that padded sb style tongue and it's giving off those sort of denim vibe but the material in my opinion is too thin to be denim and whilst I am showing you this, I am looking at the heel tab, which I actually forgot to mention. So if you are actually looking at your heel tab, you do actually have your Nike branding, which has been embroidered in black. 
and your Nike banding on the actual heel tab are there, but they are both hidden because of all the patchwork. Right, so if I just backtrack and we go back and look at the tongue. So on the left silhouette, you have the branding, which reads face SB. And your right silhouette has the branding neck SB. And below that, you have your Nike Dunk Low Pro text also, which is of silver stitching. Right, because I got these late and Halloween has passed, I'll probably be holding on to these until next year, Halloween. But I want to show you the extra patches that it came with. I won't be removing the patches. I am keeping the pair dead stock until next year. But there are three sets of patches. Right, so looking at your patches, there's a bit of a detail which I believe could actually be of use. So with it being a skate shoe, you know, you're going to wear it out. You're going to tear it out a little bit. And there are already lots of pictures on the internet of people actually removing the patches. So... I do think it's a fantastic idea that they've included these patches. Like I said, if you're a skater and you're going to wear it out, you're going to tear it out a little bit. And there's certain parts where you can actually use the patches to cover up those wear and tears. So I do think that's another fantastic little detail. And I bet you guys, nobody thought of that. And another thing, I was actually having a giggle in my head. I was thinking the other day, I have a load of other patches from Nike. They were from, from three different silhouettes. One being this pair, the other pair being the Air Jordan 3 Patchworks and another pair that I got for my son, which came with a load of Velcro patches. And I was just thinking, maybe I could just throw them all onto a Nike sweater, preferably in a black colorway. And in my opinion, that would be an absolute madness. I'm not a tailor, but guys, stay tuned. You never know. I might end up just doing it. And last but not least, here is your look at the insoles, graffiti branding in that purple colour. And you have sort of red and yellow zigzag going around the text, which gives off those sort of fiery vibes. And also, when it comes to your insole, it's always nice to expect something creative and not just a standard insole. And when it comes to your themed collabs, they always seem to deliver. Both insoles are covered in neck face graffiti and there's nothing on your back. We did get something sort of unique with your mummy dunks. They had something on your, your pod unit. You do also have that Nike SB branding in a white text to the bottom of the heel. Right, so let me just briefly go over sizing as I tend to do in all my videos. Now, with this being an SB dunk, you do tend to have your extra padding within the heel counter. That is also something to consider because if you are going for your true to size, I do believe you might find it slightly snug. So when it comes to your SB dunks compared to your standard Nike dunks, people tend to go half a size up, if not a full size when it comes to your Nike SB dunks. Guys, so I believe I've covered everything I said I would cover in this video. I appreciate if you stuck around. I appreciate your support. I apologise this video has taken longer than usual. And if you did stick around, I really appreciate that. And if you're new along here and you feel that my channel gives you them vibes and it's giving you that content, please make sure to hit that notification bell and stay up to date with any of my videos. And with all that out of the way, I hope to catch you on the next video.